First and foremost, Rock, congratulations. You've signed with Golden Gloves. How are you feeling right now? Super excited. I mean, when I first turned professional, I remember writing it down, a five-year plan. And one, on, on that list was to be promoted by Golden Gloves and fight at Empress Palace and Supersport. And that's now become a reality. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to, to get going. I won't lie, like it's, there's a bit of pressure because it's a bigger stage than what I've normally been on. I mean, like I said, I've watched all the top fighters fight at Empress Palace since I started f boxing and I always wanted to be there and now I'm there like it's a, it's it's becoming real you know it still hasn't even set in you know Empress Palace I always used to go watch all the top guys fighting there and I always used to say yes I'd love to fight you it'd be amazing to fight you and like I said this becoming a reality and now's my chance so very very excited I'd like to say unique um, I'd like to say that I bring something very different to the table um, me and coach Fussy are working on a lot of cool things that I'd like to show come 16th of March I'm um, working very hard at just being different um, I can't really say too much um, but like I said I'd like to bring something very different something unique some a bit of fresh air you know something that nobody's really seen in South African boxing um, I've already had one camp under coach Vusi um, unfortunately the last camp went well but unfortunately the fight didn't happen um, so I've got an understanding of how things work and the type of training and stuff and I'm glad it actually happened like this um, because now, now we're clicking. Now we're a perfect team. Now everything is power. The training is just different. Um, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Like everything's perfect now. Everything's perfect. I'm so happy to train Rock. He's a good boy. He's a good fighter. He's a boxer. He's a dancer. For me, I catch the best of the best boxers. Uh, he's calm, the fitness was bad, but now fitness is perfect. A little bit upright boxing. Now I need more snake and something else you got to see in the ring. Best knockout power. Any punch, any side, left and right. If you can learn for someone, someone's got to sleep and it's got to happen. It's got to hit the right time the right place every second. If you mess up, Rock has put you down. Thank you very much for God and Love to give me this chance, to give Rock this chance. It's going to put God and Gloves another level. There's the Golden Gloves, Golden Boy, and the Golden Gloves. So my manager, Marco Louis, I've known since I was like 17 years old. He's been around since the beginning. He was there at my pro debut. So He's been around from the beginning and he's always looked after me. He's always given me help when I've needed it. And when I came back, I thought, you know what, the best thing is to make him my manager. And it's paying off. I mean, he's one of the best managers in South African boxing. I know it's early days, but I'm going to be as brave to say that because the amount of things that he's managed to do for me and we've achieved in such a short time, I think is second to none in South African boxing. Rock used to be my barber. I uh, walked in cut my hair the one day, a young 17 year old uh, sat me on a chair and uh, it was actually his first time he ever cut anyone's hair. So he sat an hour and 40 minutes while this kid did my hair. He was sweating and uh, eventually we found some common ground and we started talking boxing and uh, he told me he was going to make his professional debut. So I was like, you know, can this kid even fight? So uh, we popped in, I remember he fought at the Birchwood in Boxwood and I was really impressed. I saw something, you know, in the kid. Um, people know Rock's a little different. From day one, I said to him, Rock, we need to make changes. You know, you're going to have to trust in me. Um, you know, the whole boxing scene is new, but you know, you've, you haven't necessarily outgrown your old uh, place. And like I said, I'll never talk bad about Sweatbox. I think Mimo Spirits is a brilliant trainer. I think uh, he did wonderful things with Rock. Um, and I'll always recommend people to go and train with Mimo because I think Mimo is a great trainer. I just think Rock needed a, a different mindset in terms of training with world champions. Like I always say, I think Rock's bigger than the, the little tournaments he was fighting on. I think he's a star in the making, not only in South Africa. I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. I truly say that from the bottom of my heart. I don't, not because I manage him. Uh, if this partnership ended tomorrow, I still believe that Rock is going to be a global superstar. So yeah, we approached Golden Gloves. I spoke to Rodney Berman. I told him what the kid's desire was. I told him a little bit about Rock. I mean, there wasn't much to sell. I think they had their eye on him already and uh, he just needed someone to do the work for him. Rock had done all the work in terms of putting himself out there. Um, my job was just keeping him relevant.
got some great sponsors on board now. I mean, I have to actually thank, if you don't mind, ACDC Dynamics. I think they, uh, what they're doing for Rock is incredible. Um, you know, it's hard to find top sponsors like that, and ACDC and Mario have really, really, really come to the party. Um, and they're actually helping it make it happen. I mean, this kid's full-time in nine training. He's getting in two, three sessions a day, and um, he's reaping the rewards. And the world's gonna see what Rock Nap's about. Definitely excitement, um, something different. Um, I definitely want to put on a show, maybe even try steal the show, even though it's topped by some, some big guys and some, some big names. I'd like to be remembered. Um, I'd like everybody to, after that fight, hey, do you remember seeing Rock Nap and stuff like that? You know, that's, that's kind of the stuff I envision and that's the stuff I work hard for. Um, so that's, that's my goal is to just bring excitement and, and something different on the night of the fight.